What up guys, Shady Cash here, bringing you a pretty damn decent gameplay I'd say, playing some headquarters here on some map, I don't know, I'll look it up before I post this and put it in the description, whatever. Uh, and using the MP7, this gun is beast, in my opinion, I don't know. I think I got laser sight and either dual mags or uh, inbound. extended mags on it, not 100% sure. I know that laser sight kind of makes it like steady aim on it, you know. I've noticed a lot of the gun attachments are kind of replacements for perks, so uh, yeah, I got that on there. I'd, I'd be hip firing a lot, you know, I always have. Look at me ignoring that objective. Uh, come back to haunt you sometimes, but whatever. Anyway, uh, my secondary, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I, I might pull it out at some point, maybe just the knife or something. A lot of times, I don't I don't be running with secondaries, you know, depending on what I got. Like, the MP7, I, I recently unlocked the ballistic knife. I'm a level 51 now. Getting p pretty close to that first prestige, but I uh, recently unlocked that, man. I went on some tears with it. I, I love that thing. It's it's pretty fun to use. Uh, I don't know, but besides that, there's a, a lot of times I don't even rock a secondary, you know. Uh, MP7 is pretty good all-around gun. I think submachine guns kind of seem to be the way to go in this. Uh, I went out fights with the MP7 over assault rifles all the time from a distance where, uh, personally, I think they honestly should probably be able to beat me, but who knows. Uh, using for my perks, I got two perks, lightweight and hardline, for my first tier. Second tier, I got fast hands. And then third, I... I'm rocking dead silence or maybe dexterity. I'm I'm not sure which one. And it's a pretty good toss up on which one's the better perk in my opinion. I mean, dead silence is great. UAV. Yeah, I think that must be what I'm rocking because I don't be hearing my footsteps. But that dexterity, I I really like quick aim after sprinting. I've mentioned that a lot in the past. Uh, you know that's why I ran you know, lightweight and stuff like that in a lot of the previous games was, uh, you know, I like the pro version quick aim after sprinting or steady aim, I know it was. Uh, anyway, regardless, quick aim after sprinting is just awesome to have, especially if you're like me and you do a lot of running around. You'll see, I don't know, if you've watched any of my gameplays, I'm sure you've seen it already, but you'll see a lot of times, man, I, I should probably chill back and play it safe. And kind of try to wait for my kill streak, and I do for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then I don't know, ADD or something kicks, and I'm like, God, I'm bored. Let's go, you know. Ah, uh, but yeah, I've been playing the shit out of this game. I really am kind of digging it. Uh, some of the things I really like about it over Black Ops are one, I like the amount of customization. There was granted a lot of customization in Black Ops, but this time around, your customization actually has meaning. Like, in Black Ops, you could just, whatever background you wanted, you had the money for it, you just bought it. You know, it, it really didn't mean shit except for the prestige ones, which basically just say I've played this game for a long ass time. You know what I mean? Whereas, like this, you get, you know, your different ones you unlock once again, or for completing challenges, which is the way I like it. You know, that was what I liked about Modern Warfare 2 was trying to get some of those harder to get titles or emblems and stuff like that. So, definitely happy with that. Uh, I'm really liking the point system for the loadouts. I, like, for me, and I'll probably get into this a little bit more in depth later in the commentary, but I don't really be using tactical equipment that much. Sometimes I rock a, you know, I'll put on a tactical insertion or uh, you know maybe a motion sensor or something like that but as far as like stuns and flashbangs and stuff like that go I don't know man. In, in most situations I think they're almost a hindrance it's like a warning that you're coming you know what I mean like they have no idea you're gonna be coming around that corner all of a sudden you flashbang them they know you're coming you know on top of that, you don't know how effective your flashbang is. You can get a hit marker on your flashbang, 
come around the corner, they'd be, like, covering their eyes and shit. But their screen, you know, when you watch the kill cam after they kill you, you see that they could see you just fine and really weren't that affected by it. So, I... I just tend to really not use them uh, Friendly stealth chopper ever. So I was really happy that, hell yeah, you know, I get to take off that tactical equipment and, you know, use it for an extra perk or something like that, which, uh, yeah, you know, it's just fucking awesome. I like that you can prestige your weapons and put camo on your secondaries, put camo on your knife. Uh, they, in my opinion, I think all the camos quite a bit cooler looking than most of the stuff in Black Ops. And I like that, again, your camo has meaning. You have to do stuff to earn it, you know? Uh, like, you have to get a certain amount of headshots with the weapon, or you have to get, you know, a certain amount of one-shot, one-kills with a sniper rifle, and then you got to do stuff, you know, like get a certain amount of double kills, or get 150 kills with no perks, or get 150 kills with no attachments, and do stuff like that to unlock the different camos, which again, I think is cool because it gives it meaning, instead of just like, hey, you know, I spent 250 or COD points or whatever on this camo, it's like, boom, you know, I actually did something. I don't know, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's cool or nothing, but, you know, I did something to earn it besides just, like, play a game and get some COD points. I don't know. Uh, and probably the most, the thing I'm most happy about with Black Ops 2, um, probably not even probably, probably definitely, is that they fixed sniping, you know? Uh, sniping to me in this game is fun as hell. It's not too easy, it's not like Black Ops where, I mean, it, I don't know, I'm not even going to get into Black Ops sniping, but I love the sniping in this game, it feels a lot more like World at War COD 4 to me, but uh, yeah, just been doing some running around with the sniper rifle and really liking it. Uh, there are a few things that bug me, well, really the main thing that bugs me is just like every other COD uh, lag, you know? And uh, a way to get around that, if you guys haven't already noticed, it's, I'm just going to explain how you do it on the Xbox, because it's, you know, what I play on. I think on the PS3 it'd be all the, pretty much the exact same thing, but you set your search preference uh, for when you're finding a match to best, and you just go to find match, you know, you go to public match, go to find match, and then when you're there, you hit X on the Xbox. I'm guessing it's probably square on the PS3. And you change your uh, search inbound. preference to uh, best, you know, for the best connection that I can find. And I, I did that, and I, I've actually been having quite a bit better luck with, uh, Headquarters online. you know, finding good matches and getting a good, good connection and... Not feeling like I'm getting screwed on the firefights I'm getting in, and generally having less rage-induced moments in Call of Duty, which, you know, always definitely a major plus in my book. But, yeah, I've, I've been having really good class uh, luck with this class here. And, I don't know, like, a lot of the point stuff, to me, is... Uh, you know, kind of a toss-up. Like, I, I definitely, like I was saying earlier, I think that if you're running around with, uh, you know, tactical equipment, you'd probably be better off to get rid of your two flash grenades or stun grenades or whatever the hell uh, and just switch it out for an extra perk. Once you get that one extra perk going, you're rocking four perks, it's kind of tricky after that, you know, because... In order to get another perk, like basically for every extra perk you rock, you got to give up two things because you got to put the wild card on to be able to use that perk, and at the same time, you know, you have to equip the perk. So, you know, you'll be trading out two things from your loadout for one. So, I mean, if you're using a gun that you feel comfortable using uh, one attachment with, you know, like I was saying earlier, the, uh, your secondary is really not that important, especially if you're using an SMG, you know, you've got a pretty well-balanced gun all the way around, so I uh, definitely, you know, think that is kind of key to having better games in Black Ops 2, is just, uh, 
you know, knowing how to take advantage of the things that are changed with this game, knowing how to properly set up your loadout. Now, uh, as far as kill streaks go, damn, my dog's going crazy. Well, you gotta go outside. Uh, one sec, guys. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, setting up your kill streaks. When it comes to kill streaks in Black Ops 2, they stack, unlike Black Ops 1. And they, uh, I believe, continue to stack into your next life. So, I mean, it's entirely possible to call in your, uh, I don't know what it's called now, but your Blackbird type thing, you know? And uh, that little satellite thing or whatever. And you use that and it gets you your dogs, which I have yet to unlock. And once you get your dogs, your dog's going to get your swarm, which, again, I have yet to unlock. And uh, once you got your swarm and your dogs, it is entirely possible for them to damn near get you to your next Blackbird. Uh, like, I, I get a gunship, I think. I've already yeah, called an end and everything here, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I already called in a while ago. Anyway, friendly UAV in uh... You know, I, I didn't get jack shit for kills with it, because I called it in at just a really bad moment. I don't know if they'd captured the HQ when I had called it in. If they had, I hadn't noticed. I think they might have captured it basically right as I was calling it in. Regardless, I killed their old team with it, basically, and then just sit there and wait for my team to destroy the headquarters, which took them the entire time that I had my uh, gunship up. And gunship is pretty badass, though. It's it's basically just like the gunship in Black Ops, it seems. But uh, yeah, I was kind of digging that, man. But honestly, like for me, I've been having really, really, really good luck with the sentry gun. The sentry gun in this, I don't know if they're gonna patch it later or something, man. It's it's beast, though. Uh, it is really hard to destroy. You can't just go up and knife it anymore. I mean, it takes a few clips putting into it to get it down. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just tears people up from forever away. You can go in and control it yourself, and it, it has kind of like a thermal vision, and the enemies show up as, like, big red squares, and... It's, it's just badass. Like, I, I wouldn't even recommend controlling it yourself, just because the AI does a damn good job of it for you and will pretty much just annihilate them so uh you know as long as you put it down in the right direction put it in a good spot and the spawn doesn't get flipped behind your century gun so they're coming from the opposite side it will rack up some serious kills for you and uh my second kill streak that i was running in this that i think you unlock someone early in your levels is the uh stealth chopper and damn, that is another kill streak. My stealth chopper just goes to work every time I call it in. Uh, the only problem I ever have with it is I'd be forgetting the domination's two rounds now. So I'll call my stealth chopper in when there's like 35 seconds left in the match or something. So I get all excited, I got it, and I look down and I'm like, oh, shady, you dumbass, you know? But, uh. Yeah, I think I think the key to really doing good in this game and having good gameplays and getting some high kill games is just uh, you know a like I said checking that your search settings are set to best, you know very important and knowing how to take advantage of your loadouts and your points and like I said you know don't go crazy on the perks you really don't need to be running around with like five perks because you're you're really starting to sacrifice more than it's worth at a point. You know what I mean? It's, uh, to me, it's definitely worth getting rid of your tactical and stuff like that, though. So, anyway, I don't know. That's the commentary, guys. I got some other matches I'm probably going to be posting pretty quick here. But, uh, yeah, I really appreciate the views and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good night. Peace.